this is a political mm -hmm. government. Our governments have been political, and all political parties have their manifestos. Right. The agenda is the same to improve people's lifestyles in education, health, agriculture, environment, economy, and so on and so forth. Actually, it's the same. The modalities that they put in place to achieve what people are expecting to achieve, to define themselves as people who have developed further, is contained in the party's manifestos. Now, the people who are appointed are people who know what their manifestos um, have spelled out. They know how to interrelate. That's why it is even easy to transfer ministers from one ministry to the other, mm -hmm. because they all know what their manifesto has defined. And they're expected to be not the people who would really deliver directly and this is one thing that people should really understand. Because a minister is like a, a manager of, of a football club. He may not be good at playing himself. Mm. But if the team loses, he gets sucked. <laughs> and he's expected to achieve results with people who can play. So a minister is like a super manager. He's given a team, permanent secretary, and all those people under the permanent secretary. And he's expected, as the minister, to ensure that he achieves results from those people, like a team manager who is expected to achieve results, make a team win, and yet himself may not be a player. He would even embarrass the team if he was to be given <laughs> a, <laughs> a pair of boots. 